In this video, we are going to script product reviews from Amazon. Hi, I'm Franek. If you do not know me, I have worked for Octopus for a year. I have created some video tutorials for them. And Octopus is a web scripting tool. This is why for this tutorial, we are going to use it to script reviews from Amazon without writing a single line of code. If you want to download it, the link is in the description. But first we have to understand what an Amazon detailed page looks like. Well, it looks something like this, but the reviews are located below all the details, all the features of the product. Here it is, top reviews from the United States. We have a sample, then we have to click on see more reviews. Then we have the top reviews from other countries. So let's go for the reviews in the United States. I click on see more reviews and here is our page, our starting URL something which is very important to remember, ladies and gentlemen, is that in order to script Amazon reviews, you have to be logged in first. And it implies that we have to pay attention, pay attention not scraping data too fast, okay? So this is our starting URL and we are going to script the reviews and at the bottom of the page, we click on the next page button and we move on, okay? Here we go, I copy my URL, I paste it and I click on start. As promised, you have to sign in before having access to the reviews. So that is what I'm going to do. I turn on the browse mode, I input my email and I will input my password and I see you back once it is done. Very well. Now it's important not to forget to use the cookies, to use the cookies from the current page. In other words, we say Octopus to remember our username and our password in order to make sure that we don't have to log in every time we visit the website. Okay, let's select our elements now. This is the first item, this is the second item, 10 similar element blocks. I select all similar groups and element data. Good, I have my loop item. Let's add a one second timeout, wait before action. Same thing for my extract data step. You know what, maybe I'm going to delete that step and do it from scratch. What matters for now is to make sure that we are creating a loop to jump from one review to the other. Okay. So I scrape the title, I scrape the description, the content, and maybe I have to scrape the number of stars, but that one is a bit tricky as you can see because it's not a text. So we'll see how we can handle this issue. But I guess we won't struggle that much. Maybe I should take a look at the code directly. I do a right click, I click on inspect. And here we go, we have an A tag. And within an attribute, it's written a star five review rating. And if I'm selecting another one, this one with four stars only, the value changed. And now it's a star four review rating. So I think I will do something like this. I extract the I tag. I extract the author HTML. Let's rename the data field title content, the number of stars. Let's call it rating. Okay. So we have the rating or maybe I can extract the text directly. We will see. So I click on more customize field and select text and actually extracting the text uh, works just fine. I can clean my data a little bit more. If I click on that step and I replace, I can replace the out of five stars. So in order to make our value, our result a tiny bit cleaner, I click on confirm and I can trim the spaces, trim the spaces from the start and trim the spaces from the end, trim both. I click on confirm and I click on apply or maybe, you know what, it will be out of five stars. More like this. Okay, it works better. Good. Now we have to make sure we extract a bit more than 10 results. And to do that, we have to create our pagination. That's a topic we have already talked about on this channel. I click on the next page button. I make sure that the last tag, the last item I'm currently selecting is an A tag because an A tag represents a URL. I do a loop click on the element, makes sense. Okay, so here is my pagination. I add a 10 seconds out tax timeout with a one second as a wait before action. Good, same thing for the pagination. One second. And maybe for the extract data too, one second. What's important here, again, it's not to scrape the data too fast because the scraping process 
is linked with our account. What's more is that we have to scrape the data ethically, meaning we don't scrape like 10,000 reviews at once, right? We just do it one bit at a time. If you want to set up a limit for your extraction, you can click on the pagination and uh, within the options, you can repeat, I don't know, let's say three times. In other words, we might be able to scrape three times multiplied by 10, 30 data rows. I click on run, I click on standard mode, and all that remains to do is to wait. What did we say again? All right, 50 data rows, as expected. Export, Excel, confirm, open file, and here is what it should look like. This is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, you can subscribe. If you want to use Octopus by clicking the link in the description, you can benefit from a 20% discount. There is nothing else to see. Bye.